In our latest release, the Pivot Grid Control now supports format rules used to apply conditional formatting to data cells. In this video, I'll show you how to implement this feature. I already have a project open with a pivot grid bound to the salesperson view. First, make sure that Bar Manager is added to the form. We'll need it to display the In drop-down icon gallery in the context menu. You can apply format rules in two ways. Define a cell type, or specify the intersection of row and column fields. Let's create a rule specifying the cell type. Select Pivot Grid Control and open the Properties window. To launch the Collection Editor, click here. Then, click the Add button and define the format options. In this rule, the measure is a quantity field. The rule specifies values between 1500 and 2500 and the settings define only data cells. Let's run the application to see the result. And you can see that the values between 1500 and 2500 are colored with the light green color. Let's create one more rule specifying the intersection of row and column fields. Go to the Properties window and bring up our Pivot Grid Format Rule Collection Editor again. In this rule, the measure is an extended price field. The rule specifies the five biggest values and the settings define only cells, whose column field is year and the row field is salesperson. Let's run the application again and you'll see that these five biggest prices are yellow. If you want to allow your end users to use the format rules at runtime, go to Option Menu and change the Enable Format Rules menu property to True. Let's see how it works. For example, right-click the extended price grand total cells and format them with the data bar rule. or right-click the quantity grand total cells and format them with the color scales rule. And that's it. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.